Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk, we talk movies. Guys, welcome back to another episode of DC Movie News Character Corner. This week, going to switch gears a little bit, not focusing on a person, focusing, focusing on an object. We're talking about the mother box. Uh, this became really popular recently because of BVS, but we're going to skip back to its origins. Originally created by Jack Kirby, a lot of people kind of call him the godfather of comics. He created it for a comic book called The Forever People, uh, and then kind of brought it into the DC Universe. It is essentially a supercomputer. It is a sentient supercomputer created by a character called Heman, H-I-M-O-N. He was an apocalyptic scientist to create, uh, create this device. Then it was used by the new gods on New Genesis. And as you know, that's a whole history of the DC Universe we can get into later between the new gods on New Genesis and the apocalypse, uh, the, the planet of apocalypse. But it's basically a sentient supercomputer. But it was really cool because it, uh, it can create what are called boom tubes, which we'll talk about in a little bit. It analyzes stuff. It can rearrange matter. Uh, Orion used one once, uh, put it up to his face. He was kind of an ugly looking guy. So he put it up to his face and it reshaped him into a good looking guy. So it had all these different technologies that it's using. But it's cool is it's synced to its owner. So whenever its owner would die, the mother box would die. Uh, but also if a mother box was damaged, the person through his emotions could will the mother box back to health. So it's kind of cool like that. It wasn't so much technology, but was biological combined. But as the DC Universe has kind of evolved, they're mainly used now to create what are called boom tubes. Uh, these are transportation devices. Uh, they're used a lot by Mr. Miracle, who's a really famous uh, character on Apocalypse. Uh, so that's really used with that. So anytime you're in the comics, uh, people have to get from place to place, they're using boom tubes. And it's gotten that name because in the comics, they kind of write it with a giant boom. And in, when it's an animation, it gives a little thunderous sound. And you know that trouble's coming when that happens. They're brought, of course, forward with the comics. They're in the New 52. They were the ones that brought the Justice League together. Uh, Jim Lee's take when Batman and Green Lantern were finding all these were mother boxes that were exploding all over the place, causing explosions. But they also brought uh, Apocalypse and the Parademons and Darkseid to Earth. Uh, we're through the boom tube. So that's got it use. It then was translated into Justice League War, which was the animated version of this first group of comics. So it got a little more taste of that, which kind of, bring, kind of brings us to present day Batman versus Superman. Now, it wasn't outright said that the mother box was in this, but in the scene where Bruce Wayne is decrypting the files and we see Cyborg, we see Silas Stone talking to the camera and he has failed attempts and his son Victor is on the board behind him. At the last part of that, you'll see that kind of glowing cube and it's morphing around and he steps away and it kind of transforms behind him and starts bonding itself to his son, which we are saying is that cyborg. So they haven't said it's a mother box, but I'm pretty sure it is because that goes to Justice League War where the apocalyptic technology with the mother boxes helped form cyborg. So they're kind of using that. But when they released that deleted scene with Lex talking to, some people said it's dark side. I believe that that creature that was being formed, kind of the way that the Kryptonian technology creates history with that kind of Mercury graphic, I think that was a, a dark side's father. I'm not sure, we don't know who it is, but when he's talking to Lex like this, there are three of the mother boxes in front of him. And again, Zack Snyder's not said these are mother boxes, but I think they are and kind of leads us into our DC uh, Extended Universe, and this will give the Justice League, once Cyborg is established, be able to travel everywhere, so it kind of opens it up to that. So that's kind of the history of the Mother Box. Check out Justice League, the new 52, one through six. He's been in, it's been in the Justice League Animated, it was in Young Justice, and now BBS and our new DCEU. We'll see you guys next week for another Character Corner.